Hello everyone, it has taken me a little time but I finally completed the first big project that I've been working on. Ever since the Desert of Beginning was announced and you could see that they have cars in the game, I wanted to make a Mario Kart style track. I looked over a couple different ones and decided to go with Mario Circuit 3, mainly because it had an easy outline so it'd be easy to recreate. The track was 128 by 128 tiles and then the track itself... It looks kind of awkward in some places. I'm just gonna say that is due to how Mario Kart kind of cheated back in the day, because they can make straighter lines and smaller ones too. But I had a friend over, and we started playing some Mario Kart and racing on this track, and it is quite a lot of fun. I also placed a couple extra obstacles down, like these fences, just for some extra variety, you know. But the rest I'll explain in a moment. All right, well, I'm here with Rick. Hello. If you zoom out, do you think, on the map I mean, do you think you can figure out which track this is and which Mario Kart? It does look familiar. Well, we played uh, all of them, so. <laughs> yeah, no. I was thinking about the 64 version map. It is oh, not, but it is from a 2D ish. Yeah. Um. Uh, just say it, I'm, I'm sort of in the process of waking up. It is uh, Mario Circuit 3. Oh. Well, the track layout would have probably already guessed this is the Super Nintendo, the original ah. one. Yeah. Also, if you come with, come over here to the garage, there's three different types of cars. You have the primitive ones, which are basically the slowest ones. So you could see these as the 50cc. You got Renegade, mm -hmm. which is comparable to 100cc, and then you got the fast ones, which compared to 150. You should probably start with the primitive ones, just to get uh, used to the car controls, because a lot of people have some issues with them. You played enough Borderlands to where I don't think you're going to have many issues, because the car controls are kind of similar. Oh, that's going to be fun then. Yes. Now, because this is Core Keeper and not Mario Kart, if you go off track, you don't actually get slowed down, but there are a bunch of lamps, and as you can see, you just bump into them, which is kind of similar, and it's a convenient way to excuse that we have a lot of lights on this track. Also, the slime puddles you see, they will slow you down, and those things will well, uh, break the car cars. as well. <laughs> Sadly, I don't think there's any items in the game that will break the cart that we can use. So I couldn't have like random items on the track, which I'm kind of sad about. This track is rather huge. It's 128 by 128. It has been pixel perfect on the like actual track size, the border, the colored border, at least on the outside. And then I tried to make it as perfect as I could in as well, like the track itself. It looks kind of deformed. That one is a lot faster. Oh, oh that's... <laughs> I don't even know where you went, oh man, you're zooming. Uh-huh. I'm going for it. I broke the card again. On the same fucking fence? <laughs> <laughs> fucking lame, so oh, shit. You see, I'm not the best at driving either, so this is gonna be fun. And also, I don't really remember where I placed all these uh, fences down. I did that a couple days ago. This project has been taking uh, a good amount of time to complete. Alright, which CC do you think you want to start with for the actual race? I want to go 50, 100... Why are you breaking the floor? No, 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 nothing happened. <laughs> Look, it's... it's all... Well, alright, Denny. <laughs> you want to start with 50, 100, or 150? Let's go with 100. Alright, let's go to the finish line. I actually have a light system set up too. Oh, yeah. Alright, count the light down. When it's green, we go. Editor's notes. Don't forget to include sick as Mario track soundtracks. Something like that. And it's also pretty hard. Copyrighted though. My Pokemon one worked the other day. <laughs> I don't see why this one wouldn't. Although this one would probably be a more accurate ripoff than that parody was. Oh nice, that Lord Giant Slap actually worked. So they try to place these fences down, 
to a point where if you try to only go short, like close to the edges, it will try to hinder you and be in your way. Fuck, like that. Oh shit, you're gonna win this one because I dropped my card. I won. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright. Wanna go for the 150? Yeah. Turn on the lights. I think that was a very delayed start for both of us. Eh, it can happen. So the lights are gonna be way more dangerous with these ones. I don't think the lights actually break your cards, so they're less of a nuisance than defenses are. But just because I'm go we're going so fast. Uh, they can be quite the hassle around corners. Although you're actually soon to be doing pretty good. I am saying that you seem to have crashed, so... <laughs> oh, 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 oh my game almost crashed, I think. <laughs> 150cc is too fast. Ah, oh, feck. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, there's no more obstacles. Wow! One. Uh, I won that one. And that is the fun Mario Kart version. Actually, if you want to take your cart, I have another kind of surprise. I just found the perfect loop. So this wasn't the only track that we have to do today. Uh, oh. The other one isn't as elaborate. The other one I also did not build myself. But the game has its own tracks as well that you can find randomly scattered around the world. They are a bit destroyed. I have to repair those. I just left all the debris That's in the true. field because I think it would be more interesting. But these cards are going to be way too fast for that, as you can see. So, in go there? instead... Oh, this is the track. This is the track. Oh, this is just a random... It's just a random track I found. So instead, oh. I brought these ones along. The uh, slow cards, because I think they are the best ones. And these are the ones you find out in the world themselves. Uh-huh. Oh. This one actually was pretty hard to see. The other lights I at least put down uh, just enough in your screen that you can see them. Alright, that was one lap. You've overtaken me there. Let's do lap. I need to make some shorter cuts, but I'm kind of failing in doing that. Uh, did we already do three laps now? I forgot. I think, uh... We end with this one. Fuck. Let's do it fucking uh, baby park style. <laughs> fucking seven. I don't want to remember which one we are on. Well, well, that was four, which means you're at five. I'm pretty far behind now. These old tracks are quite fun. There's a bunch of different ones. This is the first one I found, also the only one I found. I think that's seven, because due to the huge lead you have, you're the winner of this one. Well, on a uh, rating skill, which one do you think was the better track? The first one. Nice. I mean, I suspect that seeing as it was pretty much built from the ground up, and it was a lot larger. And felt like you could barely lose a zero ahead on this one. But this is a very uh, small if you, one. If you just stay in this general yeah. line, you have no worries. They should have had some uh, design here. Although I think they also want you to destroy all these walls. And I kept those in. They didn't really matter that much in the end. Although I kept getting stuck on this one. But that was quite a lot of fun. Alright everyone, that has been the Mario Kart track in Core Keeper. Hope you all enjoyed. And see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.